socks, Star Wars, and some of my own contributions. Magnavox dual audio telephonic wrap around the head leather padded headphones. A value, if I had to put a price tag on this, 300. You have your left, you have your right. These will get you amplified, if you know what I'm saying. You'll be listening to rock and roll music on these all day. Athletic cup. Boing, boing, boing. It's too small for me. The Joker unwrapped box. Assassin's Creed box. The Carnage mug. Shit. Oh, shit. Damn it. Damn it! Again? Not again! This is priceless pottery! Damn it! Oh, not again! Damn it! This is priceless! What are we gonna do? The badass pin Octo! Badass Octo pin! Another man's trash is a man's treasure. This packaging junk could be used to package a lunch for an inner city child. Mom, the kids at school are making fun of me because I didn't get my lunch in a cool package. Well, son, I wrapped it for you in bubble wrap today so you can be like Tony Stark. So here's the deal, guys. If I were to keep all this gear, all this great stuff myself, that would be a shame. I already have way more toys, way more figurines and posters than I could ever possibly need. I mean, my collection is massive, and one day my kids will inherit my collection and probably sell it on eBay for a million dollars or something like that. But today we're giving back. This one right here, the big ticket item out there, whoever gets this is gonna be very lucky. A Philips Respironics sleep apnea machine valued at over $500. Full set heated humidifier, nose tubules, control unit, AC adapter. I mean, this is as good as it gets. For some poor kid suffering from sleep apnea, this is a lifesaver, and it's called the Dream Station. Brand new specialized bicycle seat. I mean, that's a badass gift right there. We got the regrettable superheroes, Batman Q-Pop doll, bottle, bottle opener, paper. This is the, this is the Hyde Wars. Toy Drive 2020. On to the literature section. I want these kids, these kids not just to be playing with toys all day. You gotta get educated. You gotta become a five percenter like me. So we got how to be a stoic, okay? How to suffer through a life of mediocrity and torment. How to find meaning and fulfillment in a life of Crawling on the Floor, Philosophy and Self-Help. Jordan Peterson, 12 Rules for Life. Maybe you'll find something in there you'll latch on to. Grant Cardone, the 10X Rule. So you can go from 10X, a McDouble from McDonald's, 10 times over and get yourself a Happy Meal. Scrabble Dictionary. You're a ghetto inner city youth and you, you finally make it to the Yale admissions interview because you got straight A's and your, your, neuroscience, your science fair neuroscience project impressed the judges and you're in front of the Yale University Board of Admissions and they give you the Scrabble test and you fail, not anymore, thanks to Sam Hyde, peevish, penciler, penster, pentacle, pentomic, pentos, pentel, penult, penumbra, you go through the whole range to find what you need. Shambhala, The Sacred Path of the Warrior by Chogyam Trungpa. Chogyam Trungpa. The Master and Margarita, critically acclaimed book. I have not read it, but I know that moms everywhere recommend this, so I can almost guarantee you there's some kind of lesbian sex scene in here. Famous American plays of the 1940s. Never read this myself, didn't want to be depressed all day. The biggest, the greatest gift that I can give 
to all the, the hood rats, all the ghetto creepy crawly hood rats out there. The biggest thing I can give you is the gift of motivation. All you guys hustling and grinding, okay? Trying to airbrush your sneakers. I've got limited edition Sam Hyde motivational photographs. Keep your chin up, watch your back. That's me at my first art show in Fairfield County, one of the richest counties in America, and I'm probably at the Silvermine Art Gallery. And look at this, a beautiful painting that says justice and the hands are shaking. And uh, I believe I painted the still life of a squash or a gourd that looks like a dick. Check this one out. Same art show. Believe in the game. Fuck Trump. And that's me in front of a thing that I made. Little architecture sculpture thing right there. And I want the kids, I want kids out there in the ghetto, street, street kids to know that you could be like this too one day if you keep if you believe in the game. Boom. Respect to the hustle. That's a badass picture right there. That's me on a ferry boat uh, to the Isle of Inishman in uh, off uh, Scotland or Ireland there. Inishman and Inishmoor, the islands. And my stepmother took us on our European vacation and we saw Scots or Irish people living in abject poverty in stone huts, making uh, their primary trade export from these isles was wool sweaters and my stepmother was so excited to buy authentic um, wool sweaters from these islands and these people were living in fucking like huts. Stay busy. If you keep your grind right, it'll keep your mind right. Hide Wars. This is me outside the Roman Colosseum and I'm on a moped that we rented. We rented mopeds. It was beautiful. We went all around, we tasted the finest Italian foods, and we saw all the sights, and I saw the Colosseum. So, if you ghetto, if you hood, if you a hood rat, if you a street <laughs> one day you can be like this. Just keep aspiring, keep your grind right. Always on my boss shit. Sam Hyde signature. And this is me standing in front of my dad's Champagne or smoke silver or champagne silver. I forgot what they call this color, but that's a 1989 Mercedes 560 SL, which is the top of the line convertible you could buy in 1989. It's a beautiful car, still fantastic today. Uh, and that's the car that I drove in high school was my dad's 1989 Mercedes 560 SL. And uh, I wrapped it around a tree because I was mad at him. I was thinking about how mad I was at my dad, and so I drove like 45 miles an hour downhill in the snow and wrapped it around a tree with a girl in the car. And she gave me a hand job. This is, and it took me a minute to think if that was the time because I've had multiple accidents. It didn't take me a minute to think of a good lie. This is true. Her name was Julie. She <laughs> while we were waiting for the police to finish their report. And that's true. And it sounds like a lie because I had to think about it, but it's actually true. Hustle beat, hustle beats talent when talent doesn't hustle. Hide wars. And picture of me standing by a rocket that my dad bought me and we are at our family's cabin in Chaplin, Connecticut on the lake, um, which was iced over, launching the rocket. And that's a fantastic memory. So all you ghetto kids out there, you read those, you read them books pretty soon. That can be you. Peace. Enjoy the toys. Real G's move in silence like lasagna. And this is me on my tour of all the colleges. My family took me all around the country. We went to Pittsburgh. We went to Oregon. We went to New York. We went to California looking at all the colleges, all the fantastic colleges that I'd be going to. And my dad, this was an awesome, this is awesome. My dad donated probably over $100,000 to Yale University. My dad, 
okay? Don't think about me when I'm telling you this story. Think about yourself. If someone's telling you a story about how they were raped in prison or how they suffered some vicious car accident or how they lost the love of their life, think about it in terms of what, what, what if this happened to me, okay? What if this happened to me? Think about this. My dad donated six figures plus to Yale University when I was like starting when I was like 12 years old because he knew he had planned out he knew that 10 years from now his son would be going to Yale University big feather in the cap <laughs> imagine what you can do what you could do six figures over 10 years ago that's like more money. Imagine what you could do with that money. I didn't get into Yale, but I did get into art school where I was able to spend $250,000 on tuition, lodging, food, etc. Just imagine your dad, like the Joker, setting fire to all the mobsters' money. Okay, think about that. You gotta work like a king to live like a slave. And that's me sitting in a throne in a real Scottish castle. And as a 10-year-old, uh, as a fat 10-year-old, on vacation with my parents, I really appreciated the tradition, beauty, and just the artistry that went into this Scottish castle. And it was well worth the probably fucking $20,000 my parents spent on vacation. Stay on your grind, Hyde 2020. And this is me at the wheel of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution that my parents bought me in high school that I ran through a guardrail and almost killed my best friend in. And it's a $30,000 car and the uh, uh, lawsuit that resulted was a million dollar, million dollar lawsuit. Stay on your grind. <laughs> That's real, by the way. Sometimes you gotta grind a little so you can ball a lot, Sam Hyde. And this is me at the Ferrari Museum in um, whatever, Italy. Fucking mozzarella balls, Italy. I'm really excited, man. Today's my day to give back, you know? I got my loot crates, I got my loot, but now it's time to share the loot with some other people. Now it's time to give wealth give inspiration, give knowledge out. We're doing big things here. See you in a minute. We are here in the, uh, as the Africans call it, the plains, the Serengeti, the Gongugazela, as they call it in Africa, which means quite literally, did you know the Africans have, they don't have a word for neighborhood. Africans don't have a word for neighborhood. They have a word that means great sharing of ideas. Great sharing of brilliant ideas. And it's Gonguguzela, which is what they use to refer to their neighborhood or their city. That's what this area is right here. Is a, I call it a meeting of the minds. And there's broken piss bottles everywhere and shattered, shattered uh, fucking condoms and, sh and houses where they stack them they stack them high like they did in Amistad. And when coronavirus hits, I'm gonna be down here with my water jugs handing out free water. And I love this type of neighborhood. I love living in houses like these, you know, living above or below someone who makes a lot of noise and is smoking and is always always fighting with their significant other and kicking, kicking the door in and causing domestic violence uh, disputes and things like this. And you know, the police are always around uh, because they're so, they're so uh, twisted on, on drugs. Uh, so I love to give, I give back. I give the gift that keeps on giving vinyl, toy, figures, my big Santa bag. Gotta open my Santa bag here. This trash bag is not an efficient way to carry gifts. I can see why Santa goes with a velvety sack. Here we are, this is the perfect area. So first gift today, is gonna be the Dr. Emmett Brown collectible vinyl Funko Pop action figure. 
The Dead Magazine. That's a good one. This thing, oh, beautiful. Imagine, imagine the look of joy on some little urban inner city, probably white, you know, statistically, but whatever race, it's not a racial thing. A little girl's face when she sees this awesome poster and knows that she can do literally, oh shit. It's quite a speed bump right there. Literally anything, that is amazing. That's an amazing thing, to change the mind of a child like that and to show her that yes, you can be a plumber, you can be a sanitation worker, you can be a great fiction writer. Fu Manchu, okay. Fu Manchu, there you go kids. Knock yourself out with some great fiction literature. Next up, awesome packaging for school lunch. We, you know, or whatever. Make your own Funko Pop doll to fill that mold there. What's next? Oh, I'm, I'm jealous of whoever's getting this. Batman with the keychain in the box. I am jealous. Jealous much of whoever's getting this treat, little treat? And, ooh, what's next? Oh, I feel this one. The Philips Respironics Dream Station. This is a great one. Oh, this is great. That's gonna go to a happy home. And what we got next? Ooh, Deadpool? Fuck yeah, dude. Lucky kid is gonna get this one. This is a this is awesome, dude. And ooh, yeah, what's next? What do we have next in here? Oh, Moon <laughs> Phillips, <laughs> the heated humidifier. That's a great one. <laughs> and up next in our goodie bag of treats, we have the awesome. Whatever this stuff is. <laughs> Next up in our little bag of treats. Cool shirt. Yes. Ooh, this is good stuff. Yeah. This is awesome. Oh, you know what, guys? The, I'm gonna have the joy, the joy of giving all this stuff out, the joy of giving this stuff out, and the joy of being Santa Claus for a day. I'm just gonna have to give that to someone else. Because here's, take the whole bag. That's it. And I'm getting an adrenaline rush from the excitement and pleasure of giving out stuff. And so it really is true. It really is true what they say. You know, every CEO, every guy with a million dollars or more like me gives away, spends more time giving, giving away of themselves than they do of taking from the world. So that's what's important to me now. That's the life that I'm choosing to live. And I hope that's rubbed off on you. I hope you do the same. Party on. Make sure you spend all your money on loot crates. Bye.